Well, this is going to be interesting. So I've got the Honda Wave 125 PGM FI, uh, four-speed, semi-automatic, no clutch. Kaz, who is behind me, over there, he has the Honda Grom with a clutch and the same motor. Andrew over here has a semi-automatic 125cc life fan. And then, I don't know if you can see him in the rear view mirror or not, but Thomas, who's hanging back there, he's got the Dax with a 125cc manual. So, we've got the manual and the semi-automatic version of both of these different kinds of motors, the Life M125 and the Honda 125, the modern PGMFI engine. And there we go. So there's a wonderful view of the Dax and the Chelly. Just wait for Thamels. Oh yeah, sweet. Go, 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 go. Now this is a bit of an unfair advantage on us. Uh, for Kaz, Andrew and I, these are our home roads in our home city. And Thomas has never ridden this road before, so he's being understandably cautious. <laughs> But that doesn't mean the uh, Life M125 manual and the DAX is crap. It's really good. Let's see if I can catch the others, eh? So we've got a Honda Grom 125 and a Life M125 and a Shelly in front of me. I'm in third gear, pinned. Changed to fourth, and we kind of have the momentum on the flat, but as soon as I hit any corner of uphill, I need a, any kind of uphill, I need to slam it back into third. And the old puff of smoke. That life ends had a very hard life. Oof. Put a glass in the middle of the road. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> rides that thing. It's hard tailed with about 20 mil of suspension in the front. If I can get this higher acceleration out of this corner, I might be able to pip him through the next few. Yeah. See if I can catch Kaz. Kaz isn't trying, so of course I'm going to catch him. <laughs> it's not what we want to see, a cop. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! That sucked! That sucked! Those potholes! All good. How's that for a road? Yeah, good. It's the most random place to see a cop. Yeah, and it's going real slow. Well, that was fun. Little cornery section with a bit of gravel afterwards. I absolutely puckered my uh, anus, really. <laughs> no better, better word for it. And uh, I went through some potholes at a speed I would rather not have done that. And we'll see how the rest of this ride goes. Everything's okay at the moment. I'm having some fun. The Grom and I are very evenly matched. There's not much between us. I am pulling away from him, but I'm pretty sure that's just down to gearing and uh, wheel size maybe? I don't think the wheel size has anything to do with me being faster, it's just the gearing and my wheel size combined make this what it is. You, come. You, stay. Go. <laughs> I'm pinning it on gravel. On my Honda Wave with an extended string of <laughs> road tires and aftermarket wires says shocks, which is probably the only good part of that equation, the aftermarket shocks. But yeah, how fun. It's such a wicked little machine. This is the part you don't see on most of my videos is when I do a little passing shot like that, I think I'm gonna catch everyone up which involves usually riding like a freaking maniac uh, and today is no exception 
But the main difference here is that, ah, there's giant ruts. I've got an aftermarket alloy swing arm. <laughs> and I want road tires. I think that's the third or fourth time I've said that today, but <laughs> I'll see how many times it makes the edit. Andrew's uh, doing a number on himself. Ah, oh. his exhaust is broken. <laughs> that might be the early end of our ride. <laughs> All right, let's pull off and see if we can fix it. Uh, I don't know. I think I got a tape and that's it. But we'll have a look. Andrew, talk us through your problems. It's a durable star exhaust. I have. Do the uh, shaking. <laughs> fix. Yeah, anyway, it was just kind of a normal ride that's a bit boring that you can't really make too many good clips out of and then this guy goes and breaks his exhaust, perfect! Andrew, he collected some stuff from the forest for you. Thanks. Cheers mate, all good. Oh that's not helping at all no, man. It's just a snap. That's alright, we'll just carry on. How hard it is <laughs> riding one handed on gravel? Oh my gosh. Thankfully, someone uh, threw out their rubbish and we have some. There you go. Cheers. You proud? Yeah. Well, Andrew's ruined the ride, so that was a good video. Um, just a quick summary. What did you think about your Grom yes. versus everything else? Um, I like the Dax more. Okay. Compared to? The Grom. Yeah. <laughs> What's your APC? He's already ready to go. <laughs> Andrew, you're missing something. What did I think of the Dax? Oh, it's going to be great. Life ins are good, the rest of his bike's shit. So, yeah. as you said, all life ins are good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Out of all of these bikes, what would you want? <laughs> this one, probably. Yeah. It's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Cool. All right. I'm going to put this back on my helmet. Shit. <laughs> Now yes, the fact is not lost on me that Andrew's bike blows smoke almost non-stop. Uh, it's got a bit of a rich tune and that life fan has, wow, it's seen a lot. Last time I did an oil change on that for him, there was a whole bunch of hard rubber pieces that fell out of the sump, but that's okay. Is it just me or is there absolutely nothing better than heading out with a few mates on similar powered bikes? Just having the time of your life. A few back streets, back roads, out into the country, just going where no one else is and doing whatever your bike is capable of. I think it's super, th I find this stuff super therapeutic. Bye Andrew. And gosh, you know, if you're having a hard day and you've got a motorcycle, you can always make that day better 